Hey, it's everyone. Um, today I thought I would go over my brand new um, book of shadows. So this has kind of been something I've been working over the last few months. Um, I have not got it completed yet, but I have made this from um, a giant um, art book and I've kind of done it, you know, made it from, took that art book and made it into what I wanted it to be. So this is what it looks like. Ooh, it is huge. It's, I think it was 300 pages, but it's a ginormous art book. Um, it's just one of those black ones. And, um, I found it on Amazon and it, it's a huge book. So if I remember right, it was 300 pages. And I was like, I wanted to do something different than the binder that I've always used. I wanted to do something more creative and, um, so this is what it's come out like. I It is still a work in progress. I am still adding all of my spell work and everything in it. But I thought I would go ahead and share with, with you at its current stage and then be able to show you more progress as I go. But um, that's what it looks like. I created the cover myself. So I created the cover myself. I got the fabric at Joann's months ago. Um, I used my Cricut to do the iron on. Um, I created the... I don't know if you can tell, but all of the wording is, um, double layered. So it has like the pink layer and then it has like the shadow silver layer underneath. So I created that on my Cricut. It also has, um, iron on, on the spine. So it has a pinnacle up here and then spirals down here. Cause you know, um, Celtic Pantheon is my heritage, so I like to add that in. Um, and then I've done the page tabs on my Cricut as well. I just took a bunch of different shapes, and then I put a score line in the middle so they would fold nicely, and they turned out really neat. So I am going to go ahead and move to my other setup so we can get a close-up look, and I'm going to go through each little section with you. Um, I may not go into great detail, but um, I'm just going to kind of give you an overview. And then as my book grows and I get more stuff put in it, then I can do um, like update videos. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so here's a close-up view, view of the cover. So I, like I said, I did all of the iron-on and um, made the cover myself. So this is what the inside looks like. It's just some stuff on that I wanted to add on witches' letters. Um, you'll find scraps of paper throughout my entire book. Uh, but this is my cover page. So I have my pinnacle here and my um, spirals here. Just says Book of Shadows, May the Elements and My Goddess Mother Earth protect this book from all harm. So, and I made these um, on my Cricut. I really like doing paper crafts on my Cricut and using different colored pens and all of that. Um, I created these little tabs down here at the bottom. Um, I covered this one up because it has my personal information on it, but um, this one is just my witch's name, which is Earth, Fire, Amethyst, and this one is my Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, my Sun is Aquarius, my Moon is Taurus, and my Rising is Aries. So my first little section here is on Ancestry. Um, I'm not going to go into great detail on the Ancestry because it does have all of my Ancestry chart in it and all of that. Um, but I will show you this. And I've pulled um, some of the pictures from my other book and I've just attached them um, to this new book. So this one was really beautiful. I've loved this print or this uh, picture since probably the beginning of my craft. I have several books of shadows that have it in it. Um, so I had to put it in this one as well. And this is the little ancestry tree that I created for my other book. So um, I just have some pages here on um, Celtic symbols and their meanings. So that's going to go into my, this section. Um, I have my sun, moon, and rising section here. Um, I have not really completed anything on it except for getting my um, my sun, moon, and rising chart, birth chart thing. Um, I have my little 
decorations here for this section that I've created on the Cricut. Uh, my next section is elements. So here's my elements title page. Um, I don't really have anything done in my elements section yet either. Uh, the next one is going to be candle magic or color magic, I mean. And so I've created the little title page with different colors and all of that. So for yeah, probably not going to be able to see all of it. But for my colors, um, I have created my own personal correspondences for different colors. So I kind of did these little paint splotches and then uh, wrote the color name in and their meanings. And then I color coded them to what color it was supposed to be. And then the next section is just a free section. I don't have anything planned for it, so it's just empty. Um, I have a section here for my guides, um, my animal spirit guides and whatever other guides that I choose to put in this section. Um, my, some of the animals that are, um, call to me are ravens, owls, bats, and dragons. So, um, there'll be sections and there'll be pages in this section for strictly those animals and then whatever else I decide that I want to add to it. So I have little drawings here that have been done on my Cricut for decorating those pages. So here's my bats. I have some metallic owls and then I have a raven and I still have to print um, and cut the ones for my dragons. So the next section is moon phases. So I went through all of the moon phases here um, and just wrote down a short little blurb about, you know, what is good for that. Uh. So this section is just on... Um, the moon phases, and then I'm going to add, like, workings that are done with the moons. Like, I have moon water here, um, but I haven't got very far with that. So the next session section is going to be for sachet workings, which I have not uh, created a title page for yet. Um, and then we go on to miscellaneous spells. So that's going to be anything that doesn't fall into, like, a category like herb mag magic or jar spells, poppets, you know, things like that. Anything that's doesn't kind of fit anywhere else I'm going to put in this section which I have a few things um, so um, that's going to go in this section I don't have anything in it yet so the next section is going to be for herb magic um, herb magic is a big part of my practice so I know I, I had to have a section for it by itself. So I just have my little title page from uh, my previous book of shadows. And then I just started writing in anything that pertains to herb magic. So like I have my black salt here. Um, I have my dragon fire powder, money protection salt, money powder, uh, green money rice. Um, and then it just goes on. So I have like hex breaking powder, Firewall Protection Powder, Friendship Powder, Return to Cinder Powder, Banishing Powder, and so on. Um, then the next section is my jar spells. I really liked how this one turned out. And not just because my favorite color is pink, but um, I love how the little cutout um, stars are really cute. And these bottles are really gorgeous. So I don't have anything in this section yet. Um, I'm slowly getting stuff put in, but I've started working on mainly the, the spell work sections and, um, yeah, the other sections will be filled in after that. So these are magical oils. So I have amethyst oil, rose quartz oil, money oil, prosperity oil. I have a business success oil and that's as far as I've gotten <coughs> on that section. So I have a section for candle spells, and there's nothing in it yet. Um, a candle, a section for petition spells. I think petitions are very 
um, useful way of doing magic and very, a very powerful way. Um, I think it's overlooked a lot. Um, I love to do petitions and then burn them. And I thought I needed a section in my book for writing down, um, petitions that I want to remember and maybe use again if I need to, which that section's empty. Um, I have a poppet section here. Isn't that the cutest little poppet? I hope that you can see that. Um, I'm going to put him on a shirt whenever I get a chance. It's just really cute. So I have a section for poppets and I don't have any of my poppet work in here yet, but um, I have a section for sigils. As I had said in my last video, sigils are becoming a a uh, huge part of my practice. So I wanted a place to write, not necessarily write down the sigil that I create, but maybe the phrase that I'm using to make the sigil with. Um, I think that the sigil part of making the sigil is creating up, you know, creating that little bit of artwork, um, as you're doing it magically, that's, what's gonna, uh, create the, the magic for the spell. So, um, I thought that this would just be a good idea just to write down the phrases that I'm using for, um, the sigils and then creating new ones if I want to use that phrase again. And then the last two sections are just, um, empty sections that I can, you know, add something else to my book. So that is my new book of shadows. I will probably do updates every now and then on how it's progressing and um, I really am loving it. It's turned out really nice and I love the fact that I can use my Cricut and get, you know, nice pieces of artwork in um, in my book because I'm not an artist. I can't draw to save my life. So it's a good way for me to do that and I'm really enjoying doing it. I wish I had more time to spend on it um, than I do, but um, I will keep you updated on um, how it's coming along, and I will see you next time. Blessed be.